everyone welcome to my channel so today I am super excited to be unboxing and trying on the products in the boxylux for December of 2022 now if you're unfamiliar with boxylux this is the quarterly upgrade of their base subscription so if you have your base subscription you upgrade it and you get the Lux instead of the base the Lux is $59.99 a quarter plus a $1.99 handling fee that boxycharm has on all of their subscription boxes you get eight full-size products inside and you do get to make choices for two of the products inside if you make your selection on choice day now this boxy lux was sent to me free for review in pr but i do also pay for the boxy lux so later this month you'll be able to see the paid for version of this box They've also sent me the PR versions of the premium and the base box. I don't know in which order they're going to go up, but definitely check out the unboxings and try-ons for all of those as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. My name is Katrina and I am a sub box lover. I love sharing subscription boxes with all of you sub box lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, beauty videos, things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. <laughs> I am so happy that you're here with me today, hanging out, trying on some makeup. Now, I have some, a base of my face on, but there, this will be a makeup try on video. And I do like to preface those videos by saying that I'm just a normal, regular human being. I'm not an MUA, I'm not a beauty guru. So it's not gonna be professional or perfect, but hopefully it will be fun. When you open up the box, that is what it looks like. So I guess I called this the December Lux, but I guess it's technically the Winter Lux. On the back, it does go over everything inside with a description and the retail value, as well as the variation. And it looks like I have variation number 401. All right, the first thing out of the box is super duper exciting. It's a product from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's a face palette. Um, this is just, they call it the face palette. It says here the Italian Summer Face Palette. So on the card, it just says face palette, so there might have been other ones you can get. I don't remember what the choice was. Um, but this does retail for $58. And this is what it looks like. A nice little metal plaque on top of it there, which is really cool. And then you get a full mirror and a bronzer, highlight, and blush. I actually really, really like this palette. And I've been needing a new face palette. And this is like definitely the right shade for me. So I'm actually really, really excited for this. I feel like I didn't choose this for my boxy Lux because I don't remember this being a choice. I'm assuming it probably was a choice because it's a complexion product. And normally complexion products are choices. Not 100% sure on that. Let's dive in and try this. I'm going to start with the bronzer slash contour. I actually think it's really pretty on this cheek. On this cheek, I kind of wanted a little bit harsher because it was my first time using it and now it's not totally blending out because I kind of like stabbed it on my face. But I think that's just because I used it for the first time. I actually really like the shade on and me. I'm not somebody who goes in super heavy with all this kind of stuff with contouring or bronzer or things like that. So I personally really, really like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a blush and highlight at the same time we can take a peek at them. All right, the blush, let's talk about it. It's pinker than I'm used to and I feel like it's really intense on my face right now. I tend to pull my blush in like that versus put it on the apples of my cheeks and I feel like I look like a clown, but that's my personal application problem. Um, so I probably needed to go in with a little bit of a lighter hand with a blush. The highlight I really like, I think it's a super pretty highlight. It does show texture on my face, um, but I think it's really pretty. So overall, I like the palette, I do feel like I have an ice cream sandwich on my face. I don't know, I'm like a Neapolitan. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I love the way I, the blush is the thing that I don't, I didn't, I didn't do a good job at. I think I put a little too much blush for what I'm used to. Um, and when you put it in like the position that I put blush in, and if you do it too much, it just looks like your contour, like you have a really weird sideburn going across your face. That being said, I really like the palette. My execution of the palette was not good, but like this is an amazing thing to get in a luxe. So I'm really excited for everyone who's able to get this in theirs. All right, up next we have an eyeshadow palette and this is from Mally Beauty and it's their Best Dressed Lids Neutrals and Bolds 14 Matte and Shimmer Shadows. Very long name. This retails for $45. So this is what the palette looks like. It's got a nice little gold shimmery 
thing going on there. And when you open it up, look how stunning that palette is. It's a very pretty like fall, winter, kind of cool toned palette. And there's a lot of fun like colors and things that you can play around with, but there's definitely some neutrals in there that make that a lot easier. So I personally am really excited to play with this. I don't even know like, what color range do I want to go into? I don't even know. All right, so I'm going to get things kicked off with this just like neutrally brown shade book club there, put that into the crease of my lid, and then maybe also work it in a little bit into the center of the lid as well. That shade is so so pretty i really really like it i like i would like it as just this shade honestly as like a just like neutral not a lot going on look um but i'm gonna go darker um one because i like going darker too because i feel like because of my like really heavy makeup on my cheeks i need to like bring some of that heaviness into the eyes so i just want to have fun i want to take the shade music concert which is like a dark or blue green shade and i'm going to use that to like extra deep in the crease so we're just going to see what that does it kind of acts as like a gray or like a, br a dark, like, well, like a darker gray type of color, which I actually really, really like with this look, which is really fun. Um, I like that you can kind of go deep in grunge because if you look at the palette, you don't necessarily think like, like, a, like a grungy type look. So I'm going to go ahead and take Dance Party, which is like this green shimmer and put that into the center of my lid. That is a very interesting shade because on the lid, it just looks gold. It does not look green like at all. It just looks like gold or copper to me, but that's okay. And I'm gonna finish it off by taking the shade Cocktail Hour there and working that from the inner corner kind of into that green gold shimmer. I don't think I love the choice that I made with that color. I think maybe it was a little bit too light for the look that I'm going for, but we're here now, so we're just gonna kind of stick with that as the look. I think this was a fun look. I could have gone in so many different directions. Like part of me wishes I went into like that pink type of tone here, but you've got so many fun colors. So I decided to do like the bluey greens, which really at the end of the day is not what it looks like on my eyes. It just looks, I don't know, but I thought it was a good palette. The, the sh shades blended fairly well. Um, they're not too hard to work with. And I think there's some fun colors. It's, a, it's an interesting color story in that none of it makes like a super seamless look. I mean, maybe this over here does. So you have to have a little bit of creativity with this palette, but I love that it gives lots and lots of options. And I love that we got a cool tone palette because we do not get a cool tone palette very often. All right, I went ahead and threw on a wing and some mascara because y'all know I can't live without a wing. And the next product out of the Boxy Lux is from Fenty Beauty, and this is their Stunna Lip Paint Longwear Fluid Lip Color for $26. I got mine in the shade Uncensored, which is a very, very fun color for the holidays. And it is this nice, bright, fun red color. So really, really excited. I feel like it's going to actually work really, really well with the look and what I'm wearing. All right. So her applicators for this are always like, they're like a weird almost, it's not hourglass shape, but they're, they're just like a weird shape. It's all in my teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so it's very, very liquid. I had it all over my teeth a couple times and I'm hoping it doesn't end up on my, them again. I had to like, you know, I did the, I do the finger lip thing, but I'm not, I cut that out of the video. Y'all don't need to see that. Um, so I had to do that like a couple times. That being said, this color with this look is everything. Like I love the lip. It went on super duper easy. It's just that because it's so liquid, when you get it into like the inside of your lip, it just like went over, all over my teeth and like, I think I still have like little tiny pigment things on my teeth, but like y'all can't tell, hopefully. Um, that being said, I really, really love it. I've had her li lipsticks before. The formula is fine. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it's definitely not bad. And this, but this color, I love it because it's like the perfect holiday red. It's like the perfect red in my opinion, because it's not that super bright summery orangey red. And it's not so deep that it looks vampire-y or like, you know, like, ranging like that goth like dark which y'all know I love um but I feel like it's just that perfect like holiday deep holiday red so big fan of this I don't know if you could have gotten in other shades or how that would work but I'm really happy with the one that I got the next thing that I received is from dear midnight and this is their set to last setting spray which retails for $30 and is a new launch their packaging is like always so pretty you can see like the foiled stars on it oh wow and the bottle even has like gold foiled 
stars and the cap they even have like their logo on the it's not even gonna show they have their logo on the cap trust me and it's really really pretty um so this is a lightweight alcohol free and hydrating setting spray so let's try some out i'm gonna spray some like in front of me first so i can figure out the mist situation and then i'll spray it on myself i kind of love that setting spray and i just got lipstick on my teeth again oh my gosh this is gonna be the death of me um super fine mist so you get a lot on your face but you don't feel like you know how when you get that like splotchy spots of wet on your face with a setting spray this smells good this smells like kind of it gives me sexy man a little bit but it's like feminine it's still feminine it's got that kind of like sex sexy deep scent to it i don't smell it on my face now but when you like do it initially you do get that scent um which i really like and normally setting sprays aren't most of the setting sprays that I've tried aren't scented and when they are they're very fruity um, or coconutty or whatever and this is like smells kind of like perfume but again once it's on your face you don't smell it anymore so I actually am a really really big fan I'm normally like a eh, setting spray whatever I get a lot of setting sprays you know but I'm actually really excited about this one and the packaging is just so so cute on this one this is a new launch I don't remember if I said that but honestly I am really really excited about this Okay, maybe I found my new favorite setting spray, y'all. All right, now this, the, my face is finished, but the next thing out is a makeup product. But this product I think is intended as like a no makeup makeup look. So this is from Euphoria, and this is their BYO blush, which retails for $36. And this is a brand new brand to boxy. I will say I really like their packaging. I think their packaging is really, really fun. Um, and mine is, this is like a chemical reaction blush, I think. So it's a blush oil, which makes me nervous with oily skin putting oil on my face, but I am curious. So it does say here, meet the award-winning first of its kind color-changing blush oil. It's the secret to everyday no makeup makeup, um, a universally flattering blush that reacts to your skin's natural pH to instantly give you the perfect shade of natural flush. So personally, I mean, I don't, I would never wear this under my foundation and stuff just with my personal skin type. Um, but this I think could be cool if you're like doing like a no makeup situation. It doesn't have any sort of scent. This, this thing on the cap makes me want to like push it, but it can't be pushed. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand and see like if it starts to change color with my pH or how that kind of works. So that's what it looks like. I feel like it is, it's a very slight pink hue on my hand. It doesn't have any scent or anything like that, but as you can see, it's like that part of my hand's not pink, that part of my hand is pink. So it definitely does the job if you wanna kind of give yourself a little bit of blush with that no makeup look. Again, because I have oily skin, I this is like, I would only really be able to probably use this in the winter. The packaging on this is everything though. I love the color. Um, so I think this is really fun. I like this type of stuff in a lip product, but I don't think this is, I don't, I would not put this on your lips. I don't know if that's okay or not um, since it's intended for the face, but um, it's made in Korea, which is cool. So some Korean beauty, but I think it's fun. I don't know if it's like the best product for me personally, just with what I use, but I still think it's a really fun thing to get. Like The packaging is just fun. I really love the combo. Up next, we have something from Jew of the Gods, and this is their The Weekend Glow Challenge. This retails for $40 and is a new launch. So I think it's two different sheet masks two lace spun sheet masks for saturday and sunday so on saturday you get a cold elixir made from squalene and citrus extract designed to hydrate tone and restore bounce to your skin and then on sunday you have a restorative and preventative skin cocktail that's formulated with retinol and hyaluronic acid to heal and repair very very cool so here on the card it says a little bit more it says that this is a skincare challenge to promote you this weekend this weekend you're the main character they have formulated two rich luxurious and purposeful lace spun sheet masks designed to restore your skin's bounce moisture barrier and youthful glow um and it helps prepare your skin for the seven days ahead. I actually really like the idea of it. I don't use a ton of sheet masks personally, um, but I think this is really fun. I love the concept of this and their packaging is super duper cute. All right, up next we have a product from Keys Soul Care and this is their Harmony Mask, which retails for $30. So this is what the mask looks like. It's hard to tell, but this is a dark purple glass container. Um, so this is a purifying and hydrating charcoal face mask that's scented with soothing sandalwood and formulated with manuka honey and gold foil. Oh, I have to take a look at this. I love a good like charcoal mask for my oily skin, but I don't, and I've gotten a lot of Key Soul Care products in boxes. I don't think I've gotten this one before. It does smell like sandalwood. I don't mind the smell. 
it actually smells like one of the shampoos that my um, hairdresser uses on my hair when like I go to get my hair colored and stuff. I actually really like the way it smells. I don't know if I like the way it smells when it's on my face. <laughs> for uh, Wait, how long did you put this on? I didn't even read the, read the instructions. Uh, so this one you leave on for 10 to 20 minutes and then wash off. So fairly standard for a charcoal mask. I'm actually really excited about getting this. I don't, like I said, I don't think I've tried this product from their line. So I'm really excited. Perfect for me, perfect for this time of year. I also like that it's a hydrating charcoal mask or that has hydrating benefits in it with like the honey because a lot of the charcoal masks that I use like pull the oil out, which is great, but sometimes your skin feels a little bit dry afterwards. So I'm not sure whether or not this one's going to kind of have that same effect or whether it's just more of that like moisturizing benefit, but either way, I'm very excited about it. And last but not least, we have a product from Herbivore Botanicals and this is their Cloud Jelly Serum. Ooh, okay. First of all, I love the packaging of this. I'm very curious to see what this looks like. <gasps> Look at it. Look how pretty it is. The light pink in the dropper bottle. Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, so this is a non-sticky hyaluronic acid alternative serum that helps dry dehydrated skin bounce back. Tremella mushroom, a hyaluronic acid alternative, and vegan collagen leave skin feeling hydrated and plump. Ooh, very cool. I don't typically use super hydrating serums because of my skin being kind of oily. I do like moisturizers and do all that kind of stuff, but a lot of the serums that I tend to use are more geared towards like acne and all that kind of stuff. But that being said, I do really like it the look of it, so maybe I'll have to try it out in the winter months, but I think that's a really, really awesome product, and I feel like I recently got the Herbivore Moisturizer, an Herbivore Moisturizer in pink. I do not remember, w like, where I got it and which box, but I'm excited because now I kind of have the combo. That was not a BoxyCharm product. It was like something else that I got, but I'm excited because maybe I can try them in conjunction and see how they work together. All right, so that was everything in the BoxyLux for December, winter, whatever you want to call it. I really, really think this is a great Lux box. For me personally, I think I'm going to use pretty much everything. You get a face, a face mask, some sheet masks, you get a setting spray, you get some a great palette, a face palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, a nice little oil, a lipstick, and oops, I just knocked stuff over, and the little serum. So really nice. It's a good balance of skincare and makeup products for me personally. No hair care or lifestyle or anything like that. Sometimes you do see that, but obviously different variations um, may have that. So personally, I, I really thought this was a good boxy looks. I'm genuinely really, really impressed, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Totally feel free to disagree with me if you did not think it was a good Lux box. Again, I am going to get the, the paid for Lux box later this month so we can see if the one that I paid for is any better, any worse. Um, and again, I am doing the PR unboxings and try-ons for both the premium and the base box this month as well. So either they've already been uploaded or they're going to be uploaded soon. Um, so make sure to check those out if that's something you're into. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.